Last week, Tesla revealed its new Mega Pack 3. It's one of the biggest batteries in the world. It's intended for energy storage. And obviously Tesla's also using them to power their own supercharger stations and use solar and renewables to essentially generate electricity to power electric cars, which is great. This is one of the biggest batteries in the world. But BYD just came out and said, you know what? Yeah, it's not bad, but actually we have a battery nearly twice as big as that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Globally, energy storage, battery deployments are rising, increasing at a far faster pace than electric car sales are, or even any car sales are. And this is why companies like Tesla and BYD are investing billions of dollars into new battery technology. Not really necessarily on having higher energy density batteries for battery storage, because you don't really need that. But on these mega pack batteries that can be installed very, very quickly and come in essentially what looks like the size of a shipping container. It's just a box. So BYD launched its next generation energy storage system, the Haohan, on September the 18th. And Haohan's smallest unit capacity is 14.5 megawatt hours, meaning it's three times larger than Tesla's Mega Pack 3, which is five megawatt hours. The energy storage system achieves an ultra large capacity of 10 megawatt hours within a space equivalent to a 20 foot container, said BYD. It's amazing how many batteries they're fitting into a relatively small box now. To give you some context, Cadle, the world's largest battery manufacturer, unveiled its Tenor stack, basically its rival to the Tesla Mega Pack, on the 7th of May. They said it's the world's first mass producible nine megawatt hour ultra high capacity energy storage solution. So as you can see, BYD's is much bigger than Cadle's at 14.5 versus Cadle's at nine. Tesla's Mega Pack 3 is five megawatt hours. That said though, Tesla did unveil its Mega Block, which is actually the size of BYD's battery as well. How Han employs dedicated BYD blade batteries, not the new generation ones with higher energy density, just the existing ones. Maximum capacity is 2,710 amp hours, delivering more than 300% higher capacity than conventional energy storage batteries, says BYD. Now, to be honest, this battery is extremely impressive, but BYD's marketing is extremely misleading. It's not delivering more than 300% more capacity than a conventional energy storage battery. I don't know where they got that information from. It doesn't really make any sense. But that's what the marketing team has got to do. It's got to, it's got to drum up some excitement. And to be fair, this is the world's largest standalone battery. It's in one box. So it's pretty cool. The system achieves a volume ratio of cell to system of 52.1%, meaning it has more batteries in one box than any other company in the world. And it's very, very energy dense. 52% in a single shipping container. It's very, very unusual. Normally batteries are at around 30 to 40% in terms of actual capacity in that box that's being, that shipping container size box that's being actually used. So how are they able to achieve this, this new improved energy density? Well, how hard elevates system integration to new heights with fewer enclosures, reduced footprint, simplified management architecture, and improved battery cooling. The system features IP66 rated protection. In other words, it's completely waterproof, and it doubles the lifespan of dust-sensitive components, reducing system failure rates by 70%, cutting maintenance costs by 70%. Bill is saying that... Um, yeah, this thing is not going to get any dust, water, or anything else go inside it for at least 25 years. BYD's installed capacity of power, or basically of batteries, reached 23 gigawatt hours in August. That was a 23% year-on-year increase and a 3.7% rise from July, which is a really good number. And to give you some context, BYD's global car sales in August did not increase in even a single percent globally versus August of last year. In fact, their car sales in China went down by 13.5%, went up 
globally, so that actually offset the, the decline in China. Basically, though, BYD is now very similar to Tesla. The only part of BYD that's growing currently in the last two months is its battery division and is growing quickly, 23% growth, which is actually very big growth considering BYD is the second largest battery company in the world already. From January to August, BYD installed a total of 180 gigawatt hours of energy, of batteries. That is 67% year-on-year growth. So BYD's battery energy deployment has grown by 67% over the last 12 months. And there's some serious rivals. I mean, in China, there's 10 big battery companies. Of course, just across the border in South Korea, there's SK On, there's also LG Chem, two of the biggest battery companies in the world. Not far away in Japan, you've got Panasonic. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not even, I haven't even mentioned Samsung either. There's some really, really strong competition in this segment. So it's very interesting to see that companies are also not just making these batteries more efficient, bigger. Uh, they're also reducing prices enormously. It's been reported by Reuters that battery pack, pack prices have come down by around 45% this year versus last year. That's a huge decline. And whilst that's really, really good, the truth is that this is just the tip of the iceberg because with these new sodium ion batteries, they are much cheaper to manufacture than lithium ion phosphate. And eventually we're going to see battery pack prices continue to fall probably by a further 80% over the next 10 years. Meaning that solar and batteries will be the cheapest form of energy anywhere in the world. Even if you live in a country where it's cloudy most of the time, it doesn't matter. Solar and batteries will really be the only logical solution. Even if you live where somewhere that's windy, it'll still make more sense to install solar and batteries. I know this sounds crazy, but I can guarantee you that is the way things are heading. And pretty much every expert who's looked at these numbers is saying, the same thing. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.